guys today I want to talk about saving some highlights specifically in the details of the sky um, without having to do a full vignette um, you can also already see this is an edited photo um, here's the before um, we're at the beach it's nearing sunset so the blue is not quite accurate and while it still looks good I really wanted it to reflect more of the sunset views which was much warmer and much more like this um, this is obviously in personal preference a lot of people would probably prefer the blue um, but I'm gonna keep it true to the style of the session that I did here um, back to the vignette though if you can see there is a vignette around this whole photo and this is actually something that I would not keep on here because I don't love it as a whole because the light is coming off from the right here out west um, where the sun is setting so you can see that a lot of the darkness is naturally coming from the part of the sand here where I'm standing and then it's also being cast off to the left so there is not going to be much of a natural vignette whatsoever because I have light essentially on both primary directions of this photo except maybe the bottom and it's already dark so I don't need to add a vignette. I will however bring it in just a little bit to soften the brightness of the edges. This is not always necessary and usually something I do not do. Um, I think I actually like it right there a little bit better. But because there is some really lovely soft color tones in here. There's a little bit of pink and some yellow orangey colors and then it fades up here to blue. It'd be nice to save some of that detail so you really do feel the sunset look. Um, I'll start over with this one. And so if you go right here to this graduation um, tool uh, and you can select exposure. There's other options here where you could select burn highlights, highlight save, um, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go with exposure and adjust the points that I personally want to address here. So I'm going to bring it up from the sky, probably more to the right, because I don't really want to mess with the um, the shoreline up here, the, the rocks and trees. So what I'm going to do is pull this down. And you can really customize exactly where you want the effect to go. Um, and it's just, it's really interesting. You can kind of see it, see how that kind of darkens quite a bit. Because I did not underexpose quite enough to save all of the detail here, um, which in some circumstances I would have done. I would have underexposed a little bit more. Um, but the, the landscape was not my focus here. I was shooting a wedding. So, um, you know, getting some landscape shots in whenever you can is always worth it. Um, I think maybe a little bit of texture because this is going to be the sky and amp up the saturation a tiny bit. Let's pull this down a little more. And I really just want to bring out a touch, a little bit of, of the detail there. Not a lot, just a little. And you can see it's still very subtle, very soft. But compared to that before. So that to me that makes quite a bit of difference. Um, see if you can really notice those color details. And that lends to a much nicer landscape and so you can even see it actually darkened over here quite a bit but that's okay and and that would be an easy fix even if I didn't like that I could just we'll see kind of that difference there. It lends a little bit more contrast, which actually, to me, balances with the contrast and the darkness of the sand where I'm standing. So I don't mind that too much at all. That actually looks really great. And if you see how now there's a natural vignette at the bottom, now I've added the graduation filter at the top. If I go down back to the post-crop vignetting here and I completely get rid of that, I like it better the way that it's already positioned and I could even adjust the graduated filter that I put at the top more to suit the effect I'm going for. Um, of course I can leave this on a little bit but it makes a big difference um, when you're using a dark burning around the edges of the whole photo versus a very specific area like in the sky or on this the shoreline here. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, 
And again, it really helps to underexpose. I can't express that part enough because if you don't capture the details um, when, when you're first taking the photo by underexposing a little bit, if you try to use this graduation filter here, you're only going to get gray tones. So if I were to try to get even more detail, it's going to start looking really like a heavy HDR um, effect or lose the actual realness, the naturalness of the light. So if you can see, the more I do this, the more intense and unnatural it looks and the color gets darker instead of more colorful because again, the camera didn't capture that detail because I did not underexpose enough to, to document that, to bring that information in. Um, so that's why I'm keeping the coloring here so subtle. Um, but I still think that it's it's a lovely effect. I think that looks really nice compared to, I'll show you again, to nothing. So it's almost, almost um, you know, washed out here, a little too bright. And then I bring it back. And we've saved just enough detail to make that a very serene look. So again, um, I hope you find this helpful. And um, save your skies. Don't let the highlights get totally blown out. Um, especially in sunsets, you can bring in a little color. And again, to keep all of it soft, make the adjustments very subtle so that you're not having a, a really intense HDR effect in your images.